been this morning. I've been up since three in the morning. Went to the toilet and went back to sleep. So I made some videos and this is one of them as well. But it was dark with the other videos. The other video. This is um, later, but still early in the morning. It's only just come bright. You can hear the birds whistling, singing. Well, I can. I don't know if the camera's picked it up. Anyway, I want to talk about negative energy. Some pinks in my room, some pink and uh, on the ceiling. Shades of pink, it's like the um, beginning of a rainbow, I think. It's very pink out there. It's not ample. Some sort of uh, beginning of a rainbow, big one. You can see it there. Happens a lot around me. Colours. I can have a shower and the water will reflect all these colours. Anyway, negative energy. I designed a way to get uh, negative energy out or to see it anyway. It's a very powerful thing. Okay, what you do is get three bottles. You take one lid off the bottle or leave one on, lid on. So it's your bottle out of all the three bottles. That has to be exactly the same. It's a little bit of the power of three seeing. And what you do is you put it in your busiest area, like the kitchen, but away from the walk area. And what happens is your mind, your negative energy will control your mind to make a, you go out there to do something important or something fun. You have to do it. So you end up going out. And you'll always knock over the odd bottle. And then all of a sudden, what you went out for doesn't seem important anymore. So this is called negative energy. And um, you're not controlling it. You're, it's your negative energy. It creates a path for you to go on. And you do that. And you end up knocking the odd bottle out. You go for the odd thing. That's a negative energy. And I created a quantum mind map for myself for finding my car. I kept forgetting where I parked my car. <laughs> it happens when you get used to parking it in a certain area and then you've got, you, you change it and then it's like, uh oh, where's my car? So, um, quantum mind map is. Um, what you do is you train your brain, you park it in that area for about a year. It doesn't have to be in the exact same spot, but better if it is. And you'll say one word each time you train, each time you park it and go off shopping. My word is computer. And you keep saying that as you park it and just keep doing that over and over and then park it somewhere else in a totally different area and then say your trained word that you trained your mind with when you parked your car mine was computer and this map will come up and you it's like a memory map and you will find your car guaranteed um, that also is a bridge. You can build that as a bridge um, from distance, which you can use later on to jump. Not jump 100 kilometres, but jump, you know, sections. And uh, anyway, that's getting into a little bit more depth. But if you want to muck around with that, 
go for it. Add your whatever you want to add to it, but that's the way you jump. You don't jump upwards into a vortex. <laughs> You'll fall down because of gravity. You have to jump long ways like that way. Instead of like that way, instead of... Um, upwards <laughs> you'd fall down <clears throat> so um train your brain with that and try the three bottle test i call it i did it years and years ago a long time ago now and the quantum mind map and um when, when i bought my car from brisbane a different car i traded in my little convertible nice looking car too but i'm too old for a convertible although it's nice and cool I bought a van, I want a camper van, go fishing and camping. So I bought a camper van and I'm doing it up myself. And on the way back from Brisbane to Rocky, it's starting to shake sometimes like that. And I swore I see cars, but they were stretched and then wasn't sort of like there. So I thought nothing of it, I thought I was tired. And when I got back to Rocky, it seemed I arrived faster than, and I was driving slower than my convertible. It took less time to come back driving slow than it was when I was speeding, driving my convertible down to Brisbane. Um, it took a long time in my convertible and it took less time coming back and stopping for fuel and food and drinks on the way back. And yet I got here faster. So I'm thinking, you know, the quantum mind map became a quantum bridge, a quantum mind bridge when she connected to it outside the box to, you know, training your brain to find your car that's outside the box. That's not inside because I can't remember it, so it's outside. So when the, it becomes a quantum bridge, it's also outside and it's filling that gap somehow. I'm not too sure, but anyway, anyone else can work it out except me, but that's a start, right? So any scientists that they get cracking you can work it out I have no idea <laughs> so I thought I'd let you know it's a pretty short video I'm gonna get up I'm going to have toast and honey and water I'm gonna exercise a little bit get my joints capable of moving around like that Lift it up. So my neck muscles and back and so forth and I thought I would share that little information I think I shared it in another video I don't know I could have and then deleted it I deleted a heap of videos that didn't seem to work out too good I don't think it's wrong to talk about things even I'm not educating quantum but it's not hard to to really get into. I mean, um, other people might be able to work it out, work out better, and than I did. It's just things I designed for myself that sometimes accidentally turned into something else. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? So weird. <laughs> and take a look at my pictures of my uh, vortex I took pictures of above my roof it was a few years back and very interesting um, and no they're not tampered with except I lightened a couple I kept the originals but I lightened a couple just to see what it was because it looked like a funnel 
of some sort and so I lightened it and I thought oh my gosh that's a weird looking thing <laughs> but anyway um, try out the three bottle test train your brain for your quantum mind map you never know you might be able to jump yourself onto fences and things like that try it it's like um i've been known to jump i've been filmed by people jumping um without using my muscles i can't remember how i did it i think it was with um it's to do with gravity and other things I was playing around with. I'm always playing around with something weird. <laughs> I don't do it anymore because people broke my ankle because they wanted me to jump higher. And uh, it got that way. People aren't ready for that sort of thing. So now I'm into this uh, quantum mind jump thing. And uh, bridge and slowly just little bits. I'm putting together for you all to have fun with and play with a new toy good luck oh and that black long thing that's my lace cloak black cloak I use for <clears throat> uh, when I feel I need protecting from nightmares or something or even bugs it helps it's just a wonderful thing um, I bought it from Etsy and it's pure black lace and it has a pixie hat that covers, it's got a pointy hat that flops because it's not, it's soft lace and it covers my whole face and my whole body and drapes on the ground. So I wrap myself up in my bed if I've got problems with really can't sleep and I'm scared or something like that because I'm pretty much a chicken. I put that on, if the, and if there's bugs like mozzies and things like that, I put that on. Or if there's flies or anything, moths, I put it on. And I took pictures of dark matter. And one night, I was worried I ripped it because it felt like it was a hole in it. So I got up. And I couldn't find, I didn't have much lighting because it was too bright for my eyes. So I had enough lighting to thread the cotton. But um, when I sewed up my cloak, I went to put the cotton on to, find, you know, uh, tie it up and do another little patch. There was no cotton on it at all. And um, I took pictures of dark matter. I was sewing with dark matter, which was strange. It felt like wet licorice. <laughs> and I wasn't sure, how come my cotton is wet? But anyway, I took pictures. It was dark matter. So my cloak is sewed up with dark matter. So I'm very proud of it. It's the only cloak on earth. And it's in Australia, and it's black, and it was sewn with little patches, not very big, with um, dark matter. So how I got the dark matter was, I needed um, aluminium, uh, aluminium we say in Australia, Americans say aluminium, so aluminium, and um ice because ice freezes everything um, the tap water with all the chemicals the right chemicals in it in Australia and I put tap water into the aluminium container and then chucked in the ice and took pictures of the dark matter how I got to sew with it I don't know I have no idea I guess it was the right time at the right place or the right place at the right time. It's like a half empty cup or half full. It was just the right time, I guess. And it was late at night, the right lighting, because if it's too bright you can't see dark matter. You need to freeze it to see. So I realised once I uh, got pictures of it that I was sewing with some this 
black stuff and I, I well I called it dark matter because well it's dark <laughs> it's not light it's not white or purple or pink it's black so I took pictures so have a look at those pictures and uh, you can work out yourself how to half harvest it and sew up some things and have magical little items I doubt it if anyone else could do it but I did and I'm quite proud of it and I might do it again. Anyway, have a good day.